Okay, stepped on the brake. Woohoo! What's up YouTube family? Austin Evioni here. Today we're working on a Tesla Model Y. They want to install a hand show heads up display. We've done something similar before with a car to display, so I'm expecting it to be super simple, super easy, super similar. Let's get to it. Okay, let's do a quick unboxing here with this. out got some instructions here this is how to install the camera instructions here this is how to install the head unit here is the head unit all right as advertised here's what to expect got power ground data and video connection. This one is for the front camera video feed and this one is the data connection with the MCU slash self-driving computer. Put that in there. And then, most importantly, all of our wires. This is uh, like front camera. Air vent deflector. And the piece de resistance. All of our wires here. More installation. Oh, look at that GPS antenna. And then this is the one that goes from the uh, onboard computer to the head unit itself. There we go. All right. Let's do it. Okay, and because we're in the hot Texas sun, I'm actually going to leave the AC and battery hooked up till the last possible second. So, first things first, let's pop off these covers here. goodness okay got that guy off nothing broke repeat on the other side cool pry this guy off here again hopefully not as bad got that one off again nothing broke let's start popping this guy up right here wow basically did the whole thing in one go Great. Cool, let's pull this out and away. All right. All right, and let's now pull off this piece right here. Right there. I'm wondering if I can get it off with this guy. Yep, got it. And then pull that out. Please don't drop it. Oh my goodness. Got it. Okay, and we're gonna pull this piece out right here. Just keep on pulling. There you go. So I got my dash here on the workbench. I'm gonna zoom in here. This is the cutout for the steering wheel. And we're really gonna just kinda try to line it up by hand and see how it looks. So, looks to me like that is about centered right there that's that one so let me start counting from this one here twenty nine spaces great so now I have to get back to that spot and I will lay down some tape to mark my starting position 
All right, since I found my starting position, you can see in my hand I have pre-marked on this tape with indicators for where each wire will push through relative to that 29 space. So what I've done here is I've marked the starting position where the hand show display is gonna push through the vent holes here. Let's get a little closer view. And then uh, pull the wires forward so you can see the wires. Then, then, and then the next one over will also push through. Then the next one is the red power wire. One more to the right is the negative power wire. And then one more to the right is the CAN bus wire. If I count one, two, three over, there's the camera wire. And then one more to the right of that is the GPS wire. Okay, so now I can start sticking these through the holes. And we'll start with the power wire here, which is red. <laughs> Make sure that's an R, red. And as mentioned, then the negative power wire, CAN bus wire, see, CAN bus. All right, camera wire, where are you? There you go, camera wire. And then the GPS wire. Okay, let's test fit it. Okay, we're just testing it. Bring it on in here. There we go. Let's take a look. See what y'all think. Does that look centered? What do y'all think? I mean, it's definitely centered on the thing. I think. Get my camera centered here. There we go. My camera is centered. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna eyeball it. Let me turn the camera off. Okay, I know we went to all that trouble to run the wires, but I just realized that uh, I need to slip on the, uh, the connector that locks it down. Okay, we're gonna see if we can screw these in now. That's in. Okay, for the time being, I am going to put this up on the dash right here. Okay, now we gotta get the frunk open, so let's see if we can step on the brake. It says tap key card and press brake to drive. Okay, great. Acknowledged. Better be in park. It's in park. Open. There we go. Great. Okay, gonna open the frunk here. And we need to take the bucket out, should be pretty easy. I think we just need a little DC bolt here. Okay, and that's looking like a 10 millimeter, so let's, uh, is it? Yes. And then can we see? Okay, and then let me bring it in closer here. And then there's two more here in the bucket. this out there's a light attached here that I want to be careful not to uh, not to accidentally overextend okay. 
And then anyone that's done this before probably knows that this one's not easy. I'm actually, I forgot my miniature screwdriver, so I'm just gonna use a ballpoint pen. Just keep wiggling it out. Oh my goodness, there she goes. And then, please sir, may I have some bucket? Okay. And then let me ask, who designed it this way? Like seriously? This is not, not convenient. Okay. And then there's one little piece right there. Oh, thank you. Okay, and then we're gonna be mounting the camera right under here. Like, let's get it like so, right there, which means I gotta get this wire through there. Okay, so I'm gonna mount it right about there. Oh my goodness. And let me just start slipping this through here. Let's see if I can't pick up that wire. Okay, and I was able to pick that wire up on the other side. So there we go. Yeah, I just want to check to see if um, I'm trying to route the uh, camera wire through the firewall, and I need to look back here now. And this is going to have to come out anyways. But I just want to look back here and see, hey, is this where all the wiring comes through to the firewall? Cool, so now I'm going to pop off these rivets here. Let's see, there's just a couple of them, so I should be able to get them pretty good. One, two, three, four. Cool. Pull it out. Pull this panel down. Whoop. Great, got the panel down. I just need to pull off these two clips. One for the light, one for the speaker. My goodness. Great, got that guy out of the way. And then just to double check that where we're coming through the firewall is up in there, right there. That's where we're gonna have to go through with our uh, camera cable. Cool, now let me wrap the wire here. And then it's wrong. We're going to be going up this way. And then, I'm going to try to get it through the bottom would be better here. Okay, I started shoving that wire in. Let's see if it came out the other side. Oh goodness, what are we gonna see here? I'm very excited. You know, either it's gonna be great or it's gonna stink. What is that? Oh, you big punk. That was probably the hardest part. Okay, so we got the wiring pretty much where I want it. So it starts through here, comes over here, goes through here. I'll tape this up in a minute. Uh, up right here, follows this wire here, follows it, follows it, follows it, follows it. Keeps following it, keeps following it, keeps following it. And let's dip in behind here. I lost my finger, there it is. And then uh, there's a bunch of wire here I still have to pull through and there's where it goes through the firewall. Great, let's take this sucker up real quick. Great, and here is where the camera is. I get the little piece of uh, double-sided tape that they provided to get it started. Get her lined up. Oh my goodness, so here's the double-sided tape. 
I don't have fat fingers, but geez, I'm I'm really struggling with this guy. Okay, there we go. Put it on there. And then we're just gonna stick it on. See if we can't get that sucker center. Cool. Angle it. Great. And then this part's fixing to be pretty hard actually. I gotta screw through the plastic without pre drilled holes. Oh my. There it is, it's biting. Oh yeah, okay. I haven't seen anyone talk yet about how are they gonna mount this GPS thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double side tape, mount it to the back side of this, run the wire through that same grommet right there and uh, call it good because I don't think this customer wants this mounted on the outside of his vehicle. Let's see if we can't pick it up on this side. Let's see there's that one. There she is. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the GPS and the camera. Camera goes here, GPS right there. And then uh, let's tape all this. Actually, I think it'd be better to tape it to this. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, I got these hooked up and taped. Whoops. All the way along here. Taped it all the way around and down there. So it's looking good. Okay, time to say goodbye to the AC because it's time to finally hook that side up. So we've got to shut her down. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn off, turn off the AC so it doesn't come back on. Second thing we need to do is go power down. Let's see if I can remember, is it under safety? There it is, power off. Great, and then the third thing we want to do here is come to the back seat. I can't remember if there's tabs on this or if we can just lift straight up. We will find out here in a second. Excuse moi. Nope, no, 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 just pull up. Okay, no tabs on this one. Great. And then excuse moi. Here is the thing that I want. So let's see if I can remember how to flip it up. There we go. Boop. Done. And despite my best efforts, this sucker's still making noise. So let's disconnect the battery. Okay, let's undo this bad boy. Negative terminal. Beware. That knock right there, that's why you do the negative first. Because God forbid if you knock the positive against the chassis. Okay, now it seems like everything's shut down. Okay, so we're gonna pull this the rest. Of, sorry, we're gonna pull this the rest of the way out. Let's keep pulling. Okay, that's probably good enough. Great. And then this is the box. This is the side. It's plug number two. So that's one. Well, somewhere up there. Oh my God. This is number two. There it is, the gray one, right? I'm sorry, but there's like no easy way to get at it. It is, I just pulled it out. Oh my God. Much, much, much later. So there it is, there's that wire. Okay. That's it right there. So then I should just be able to plug this guy in right here. There you go. Oh damn. And now with that plugged in, I just gotta plug this in 
into the uh, thing and put it all back together. I got it. That's the one. Second one in right there. Okay, since we got it back together, let's start by putting the negative terminal back on here. Great. Then roll around right here, put this sucker back on, push down real hard, and clip. Cool, there's a click. Okay, let's start plugging her in. Yellow. Oh, I think that's all it was. I just didn't have them plugged in nice and tight. Because I could feel how deep that one went. Okay, here we go. It's wrapped up. Okay, stepped on the brake. Woohoo! We're done. Let me call the customer and let him know I'm wrapping up here. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. And more importantly, please subscribe. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.